Hey everybody, today we'll be looking at making custom UI buttons in Game Maker. It's just a solid square object that when you hover over it, it'll give you a custom uh, message. When you hold down on it, it'll give you a custom message that when you let go, an action will happen. Also uh, covered in this tutorial will be uh, using button as a parent, giving it children, and while doing the same properties for all of the children, you can give it custom commands. For instance, this button will end the game after I've let go of the button. Okay, to create a button, first we need a sprite. So we're going to create a new sprite. We're going to change the height and width to 32 by 32 pixels. We're going to give it a solid white background. Um, and we're, of course, going to name it SBR block. I like giving all of the UI elements just a solid block at 32 by 32. Because then we go into the room, we can change the grid size to 32 by 32. When we create the object, obj button, we can go into here and actually resize the button to be however big we want. So if we want three buttons, it's as simple as adding them here. And you could resize those to be whatever you'd like. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a label. We're going to start out with calling it blank. We're going to have a step event. And now we want to check if the mouse is being held down on the button itself, then display a different state. So we're going to say if mouse check button and be left, which checks if the left mouse button is being play, uh, pressed down. And if position meeting at this x and this y, uh, I'm sorry, at the mouse x and the mouse y of this object. So if the left mouse button is being pressed and there's a collision between the mouse x and the mouse y and this object, then do this stuff. I say label equals holding um, by default, we want the label to be blank. I guess we'll have, by default, the label will just say button. And holding, just so format's correct. Um, we could also do something where if position meeting mouse x, mouse y, id, um, label equals hovering. So if there's a collision between this button and the X and Y position of the mouse, then the label will say hovering. Um, and if it's being pressed, currently it'll say holding. And then we want to give it an action. So if mouse check button released and be left, if position meeting Mouse X, mouse Y, ID. Then show message. Button was pressed. Um, now we need to be able to display our label. So in our draw event, we're going to draw self. We're going to do draw set color. We're going to set the font to black. And then we're going to draw text at the X position, the Y position, and the contents of the label. So now when we run it, it'll say button. If we're hovering over it, it'll say hovering. If we hold it down, it'll say holding. And when we let go, it'll say button was pressed. Now that's unique to each one. As you can see, every time I hover over a different button, you get hovering, holding, and pressed when you let go. Um, something that you can do too, if the user wants to change its mind, change their mind, you can click and hold and then go off of it and release and it won't trigger the actual button press. So that's really cool. Um, if you want to make it a little bit more streamlined, you can, instead of a message showing up here, I like to use event user zero to come up and then in event user zero, this will be our trigger for whenever the button is pressed. So you can say show message button was pressed. Now why this is cool is because you can actually um, 
create a new object. We'll call it obj um, game. Uh, let's call it for naming sake game end. We can give it an object of the block. We can actually parent it to the button. And all we have to do is change the event user zero because we want all the labels to be the same, except for when event user zero happens, we want it to do game end. So we'll have this last, uh, this space down at the bottom and the game whenever it's pressed. So let's test that out. We still have our, rec uh, our behaviors from the original button up here, holding, released, button was pressed, hovering, and you'll notice that even though this is a new object, we've parented from the button. So when you hover over it, it says hovering. When you're holding down, it says holding. But we added a new custom event. So the event user zero, we coded it to say game end. But now we release this. So if we release it, the game officially ends.